final northern heat for the Rumbelo Sprint was staged at Sheffield's Don Valley Stadium, Britain's newest major track and field venue. We've got an international athletic setting for today's uh, heats and a bit of an international feel to them too. Adrian Littlejohn, the England Youth International from Sheffield United, goes in the second. From across the other side of the city in the first, Paul Warhurst, the England under-21 cap from Sheffield Wednesday. Warhurst very much the home favourite in this first heat. A large Hillsborough contingent amongst the young fans. He's in lane three. Next to him in lane two, the trackside tip to pick up the £600 winner's check today. Iffy and Wara of Huddersfield Town. First four to qualify for today's regional final. And Wara away to the best start. Lee Jenkins and the whole winger also going well on the far left of your screen. Warhurst just behind them already looking round those. He's going to qualify too. It's on Wara from Jenkinson from Simon and Thompson Scarborough in third. And Warhurst safely through in fourth. And Wara's time, 12.13. Very respectable. He too has Adrian Littlejohn, who made his first division debut with Sheffield United this season. He's in lane six. Two second division opponents either side of him. Craig Russell and Charlie Bishop. Russell and Little John in the red and white stripes away together. The race almost split in two by that empty lane in the middle. But here comes Sean Goethe in the red of Rodland with a late run. Russell starting to tire, but Little John will hang on from go to second, Russell third. Andy Curtis of York, Pippi Bishop to fourth. 12.15, just outside the time for heat one. Two very impressive uh, heat winners. Paul Austin from Labrook still putting a book together for the final at Wembley. Has that changed your thinking at all? Well, three of the regional winners look like clear market leaders. That's Donald of Birmingham, Bartlett of Notts County and Keith Curl from Manchester City. But with a bullet-like start from Menorah today, that could really shake the market up for Wembley. Well, Paul Warhurst of Sheffield Wednesday has two-fifths to final on war in the final. He's in lane one. Simon Thompson of Scarborough is in two. Adrian Littlejohn, the Heat 2 winner, is next, representing Sheffield United. Then Ippy Unwara being watched today by his manager at Huddersfield, Owen Han. Lee Jenkinson, the whole winger, was third fastest in qualifying. Sean Gotha, Rotherham United in lane six. Next, the 18-year-old Sunderland striker, Craig Russell, and completing the field, another teenager, York winger Andy Curtis. On your mark. First two go to Wembley with a wild card chance for the man in third if it's fast enough. A war away to another flyer. Warhurst got a poor start. Sean go to a brother and going one in six. Here comes Lee Jenkinson in the black and amber of Hull. Jenkinson on war with Little John trying to get to them. It's between those three. Jenkinson by a whisper, I think. Lee Jenkinson, the surprise winner. Almost broke 12 seconds. Adrian Little John qualifies in second. A war in third surely goes through as the fastest loser. All three inside of 12.1. All three faster than Keith Curl last week's winner. But this week's winner is Lee Jenkinson. Were you having us on in the semi final? No, I think Kiffin was actually. It weren't me. I just, uh, I ran out of leather in the heats. But I thought I was getting stronger in the last 10, 10 20, uh, 20 metres. And I, I thought he was slowing up in. I thought if I can keep with him in the final, then I might just be able to pick him on the line, which I did. Paul, what price today's winner for the final? Well, Lee Jenkinson, a fantastic finish, and I make him a 10 to 1 shot to win the final at Wembley. Where's that put him in the betting? Well, he's behind three clear market leaders, as I said earlier. Keith Kill's got the burden of being the Labrook's favourite, I'm afraid. He's 3-1 to favourite. Yeah, we've then got Kevin Bartlett and Louis Donoa, who won the two heats at Molyneux. They're both 5-1 to one shots. Do the tic-tac. I'll do the tic-tac. It's 5-1, yeah. 